so friends in this video we will discuss the sampling methods unsolved question from the macmillan so friends this is 10th problem in the macmillan book so friends what they are saying see here in the 10th problem the sample of 16 observation from a normal distribution with a mean of 150 and a variance of 256 that means they are saying the sample of 16 observation is there and mean is 150 and variance they have given 256 okay and they are asking what is the probability that x bar is lies between lies less than 160 and what is the probability that your x bar is greater than 142 okay this is the basic problem so friends how to solve this is very easy problem so let's discuss see friends after watching this video you will able to solve any problem from the sampling methods this is my guarantee okay now let's discuss so what they have given sample of a 16 sample is denoted by small n so we have taken small n as a 16 okay they have given mean is a 150 normal distribution mean is 150 that means sample population mean is a 150 okay so mu we have taken 150 next they have given variance 256 what do you mean by variance variance they have given 256 remember but uh, while calculating the probability we need standard deviation so what is the relation between standard deviation and the variance it is the uh, standard deviation is equal to under root of the variance okay so what is standard deviation is under root of variance variance they have given 256 so we have calculated standard deviation that is sd is a under root of 256 so we know it is a under root of 256 is the 16 okay we calculated the standard deviation it is under root of variance remember this is important and this is easy to remember also okay now friends before going to so actual numerical see here some basic part see this is the horizontal line this vertical line and this black curve is our normal distribution okay and the center line is our mean okay and remember this half portion value is a 0.5 and this half portion value is also 0.5 so that total value for the normal distribution is always 1 why because highest probability is 1 that's why we take this value as a 1 that is the highest probability is always a 1 so half for half portion it is a 0.5 and for this half portion it is a 0.5 so this is the basic so friends we have to find what is the probability that the sample mean of a sample lies below 160 is less than 160 so friends for that purpose we need to find a z why what is what is z z is a x bar minus mu divided by sigma x bar so how to remember that formula here is a short trick for you it is just a difference divided by error d by e that is a difference divided by error so what is error error is a sigma x bar okay so standard mean error okay so uh, sigma x bar is nothing but your error okay and it is nothing but the sigma divided by under root of small n so what is the sigma we have calculated it is a 16 so 16 under root of n they have given 16 so 16 divided by under root of 16 so 16 by 4 you will get error that is a standard error of the mean it is the standard error of the mean you will get 4 okay now we have calculated the standard error so our basic formula for calculation of z is difference upon error so what is the difference here see here see here this is the mean they have given mean they have given 150 so we have drawn here 150 okay and they are asking what is the probability that that uh, your mean of a sample is less than 160 so this is the 160 line okay so you can draw 160 line anywhere but it should be beyond the 150 so i have taken here here is the 160 line okay now they are asking what is the probability that your x bar that is mean of sample lies between one below the 160 that means that total red area we have to find total red area that means up this to this point we have to find from this line to this line okay the total red portion mark we have to find up to 160 so friends we have z is equal to difference upon error so what is the difference between mean and x bar it is a 10 so put a value 10 what is the error error is nothing but we have calculated here sigma x bar is a 4 so 10 upon 4 so z is our 
ओके सो फ्रॉम जेड टेबल यू हैव टू फाइंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू फॉर द टू पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो हाउ टू लुक इन टू जेड टेबल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू बट सी हेयर अगेन हाउ टू फाइंड वैल्यू फॉर टू पॉइंट फाइव इन दी जेड टेबल ओके फ्रेंड्स सो इट इज अ टू पॉइंट फाइव सो फॉर टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वी कैन से इट इज अ वैल्यू इज अ फोर नाइन थ्री एट ओके दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दिट इज अ फोर नाइन थ्री एट जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री एट ओके सो वी कम टू नो फ्रॉम जेड टेबल दैट वैल्यू इज अ जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री एट ओके सो फ्रेंड्स दैट वैल्यू वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इज नथिंग बट द इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मीन इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मीन और इट्स डिविएशन फ्रॉम द मीन so it is that that green that 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 only that part we have calculated so we want to calculate whole uh, red marked portion so i have already told you this half portion is always 0.5 this this portion is always 0.5 okay so we need to add 0.5 if we calculate uh, we want the full red marked area okay so we add 0.5 plus The our that that portion we have calculated using the z. So when you add this, you will get zero point nine nine three eight, and that is nothing but your answer that ninety nine point thirty eight percent is the probability that our value of a mean of a sample lies below the one sixty, lies below the one sixty. Okay. So remember, first z we have calculated for up to the mean, that is distance from the mean, and for why we add the zero point for you. many person many people have the problem they do not understand that why we add 0.5 remember this half portion is 0.5 we need to calculate full red marked area that is below 160 we want that's why we have added 0.5 okay so probability we will get 99.38% so this is the answer for your a part now friends let's discuss the b part in b part they are asking what is the probability that your mean of a sample should be greater than 142 so friend this is our mean 150 so 142 definitely will lie at the left side hand side of the 150 so we take here 142 you can take anywhere but it should be left side so i have taken here 142 okay and uh, they are asking what is the probability that it should be greater than 142 that means greater than one is right side okay so it that red marked area we have to find okay come to know what we have to find c friends for that purpose we have what we have we have d z is nothing but the difference upon error so what is the difference here it is eight difference is eight divided by error what is error error we have calculated sigma x bar that is standard error of the mean that is four so just put a value four you will get z is a two okay for two we have to look into the z table what is the value for two into the z table okay i repeat here see how to look into the z table we have to find the value for 2 in the z table so for 2.0 the value in the z table they have given is 0.4772 okay now see we come to know what is the value for the z it is 0.4772 so that part that is a green part uh, green line that that only portion we have calculated okay that means the distance from mean we have calculated from z that is a 0.4772 but we want that full red area that is more than 142 so this plus this so we know this value is always a 0.5 because it is a half portion okay so add 0.5 in it okay so when you add 0.5 in it you will get 0.9772 0.5 plus 0.4772 you will get 0.9772 so that is nothing but the 97.72% is the probability that the mean of a sample should be greater than 142 what is the probability the probability is 97.72% so friends in this way you have to solve the numerical so Uh, next they are asking instead of 16 observation if nine observation are taken then you have to find the mean is, will lies below 160 and the mean of sample is lies uh, more than 142 so friends it is a similar process you have to repeat yourself okay and for that purpose what you have to do you have to 
just replace 16 by 9 here here in this area uh, just take value n as a 9 okay and just repeat the process find value for a and b part okay a and b part so this is the homework for you this is the homework for you you go through the video right then note down just for n replace 16 by 9 and uh, calculate a point and calculate b point that is a and b part you have to calculate and this is a homework for you so solve this part a and part b taking n as a 9 and comment your answer you have to comment your answer in the comment box okay this is a homework for you so friends if you want the pdf of these notes so pdf will be available on our telegram group there is a telegram group for cib aspirants and uh, you can search on the telegram at the rate caib bz you have to search at the rate caib bz or you can search banker zone also so friends join our telegram group for the pdfs and the notes so we will continue our discussion in the next video